Yo, what's going on? My name is Chase. You are now tuning in to Chase my YouTube channel, which showcases my life, the things I'm passionate about, and what Arkansas has to offer. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button so you can be a part of the driver squad. Make sure you like this video because if you didn't know, once you like this video, you let everybody know on YouTube that this channel is valuable. Share this video with your friends and family members and let them know that Chase Way is popping. Let's get into today's video. Nah, for real. I pull on no star for real. I hop in the whip and take off, you know, my mom. YouTube, what's going on? Chase Way back with another video. Today's video. We are going to be updating stocks. We're going to be shopping for stocks today. And we're going to be updating at the same time. But we're going to start a technology. Um, something that I do want to bring about. If you was able to be on my live July 23rd when I was shopping for stocks on my birthday. I'm sure y'all made some money off of AMD. I'm sure y'all made some money. Let me see. Uh... I mean, AD, ADS. Was it ADS that, that went crazy or A? I think it was AMD. Hold on, let me double check. Because one of them stocks went, was booming. ADS. Alliance. Yeah, it was ADS. ADS just took off. Let me. Yeah, ADS took off. No, it wasn't ADS. It was AMD. What category is this? Technology. Yeah, it was AMD. And I think I... Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Nope, never mind. Wrong stop. Sorry. Oh. Um, yeah, it's time to update this. So... Something I came to conclusion. I wasn't gonna be able to do this by my like do it after because I don't really stop like that anymore and I'm constantly driving. So this is gonna be part of what we do. I'm going to give y'all a rundown of how my stocks performing. A uh, quick five minute start and if I have any changes, I'm gonna talk about that. And then we're gonna spend probably like 10 to 15 minutes updating the chart. And I think that's how we can be more consistent. Um, I'm not gonna, it's gonna be, I'm gonna be updating this longer, but the common goal is I continue to work on this and y'all know what to, like what to do. So it's basically just uh, a reminder or like a, it's like a, how can I say this? It's like a system where we are understanding the principle and what to look for in stock charts and knowing what uh, what's the best time to invest in a stock and what's not the best time to invest in a stock and knowing when to buy and knowing when to sell. And that way, just because you learned to hear, you can be able to teach others. You will be able to help others. You will be able to educate others. You will be able, you will be able to be the teacher instead of the student but that's just how life works you can be a student one day and continue to do it you master it and you can be a teacher but let me put y'all on the screen uh three two one all right so let's go to the search let's go to technology technology is the largest one but it is what it is. We just got to do it. So I can just go to stock charts on this. Well, I'm going to, I'm constantly going to have to go back. So, so far we got Tesla. T-S-L-A. Now, when it comes to Tesla, this is what you want to look for. And this is all you're going to be putting in. So we go to stock price. And we changed that to 452.71. The 200 moving day average, we multiply that by 0.8. Simply because this is a pandemic. And 
You don't want, we don't know what's going to happen in the future. We don't really know. So we just giving it an 80% discount. This is what we could assume that we will make on an 80%. But say if it reaches full of potential, that's when the moving, the moving average of 200 days come in. The 200 moving day average. I don't know why that was hard for me to say. Uh, 730.26. Uh, so this number is smaller than the stock price. It's not a good time to invest. And say if the two, say if the uh, daily reaches $584.21 or around that price, that would be a great time to invest. And that's how you be able to read this in a Google worksheet. But this is how you read this. Cause say Tesla's stock is $1,452.71. But say in the next 200 days, it touches $730.26. That would be a great time to invest. And then you just continue to wait. So it's kind of like this is 80% of what 200 days is. And it's kind of like you be able to, you will be able to gauge. Okay, I know the 200 moving day average is this, but what's 80% of the 200 moving day average? Because sometimes if you watch stocks, it might reach the 200 moving day average but it might also dip as slow and reach the bottom line. And you can probably catch the bottom line getting 80% of what 200 moving day average is. Meaning the 200 moving day average is uh, the red line. You see how the stock went, when it touches the 50 day moving average, right? Which is the blue line. It went all the way down to the 200 moving day average now. Now, you invest and you ride it and you keep riding it. But who's to say that that it would have go lower than that 200 moving moving average? No one knows. No one really knows the stock market like that. But that's how you get a repetition to cap doing this on the worksheet. But also, you are paying attention to the graph. So. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do another one. Uh, let's double check Apple next. Apple is next. A A P L. Okay. Now, this is when this is when we know information. Say. So let's just put in the numbers. And you were just reading this without knowing that Apple is about to have a four for one split. You still wouldn't wait for this, and you would just wait for the stock to reach two hundred forty-three dollars and fifty-eight cent. But since we know that Apple is about to have four and one split, just wait until the split, and then this graph that you are trading from. It, you won't have to pay no attention to it because you are the research and you know more about what you're about to do. Instead of just focusing on the technical part, you are aware of what's going on. So you just wait till it's, it's, another, it's another buying opportunity. Uh, Microsoft, Amazon was right there, but uh, is Amazon still here? They switched this up. Hold on. I'm worried now. Is this still up on the technology? Nope. They move Amazon straight to shopping. Hmm. Okay. I 
Amen. Alrighty, so let's take let's take that and we're gonna just move that right there. Uh, Microsoft. So Microsoft is MSFT. Oh, ain't gonna be able to, ain't gonna be able to do this for too long. Two one two point four eight. Okay, so Microsoft, the daily is $212.48. The 50 day moving average is gonna reach $201 and the 200 moving day average is gonna reach $171.71. So say if you want to invest in Microsoft, just wait until the next 200 moving, the next 200 days. Or you can invest now and think you can, you think you can try to make some money. Just wait until it reaches low. You don't, even though you want to invest in the company, you don't have to invest in the company today. Wait until it's a great buying opportunity. That's how you, that's how you put, uh, that's how you put uh, companies on your watch list. You just watch them day to day and you just go look for another company. Just don't be emotional or tied to a, com a company because the stock market doesn't care about your feelings. They just want your money, and your your only purpose is to make money. So keep that in mind. Facebook. Uh, oh, that's what I meant to do. So I just I was just checking my email, and I got a free stock from one of y'all. I don't know who it is, but comment down below. And I would like to say thank you. I wonder will it show me. I'm in an area where the connection is trash. Trash, I tell you, trash. Ooh, this light is killing me. Driver squad, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Cause I don't make, I don't stop enough and this is, I guess I'm just going to do that. Cause now I take showers at night. I do a hundred pushups at night. I make sure I'm consistent with the videos. So I'll be on it, man. I'll be focused. Let's see if it's going to load. Oh, now they asked me to log in. I'll just wait later. Cause uh, it's already slow. You know what? That's that's it. And that's enough for tonight. That's enough. And the reason why I say that's enough, cause this internet collect, this internet connection, is too slow for me. Too slow. And I am working on getting more sleep, so. I'm gonna make sure I edit this video for y'all. Even though it's coming out on a Sunday, the main goal is to make sure that I am consistent. Um, I do start Monday. I do have to make sure that the stock, uh, the charts get updated. And I'm just really trying to figure out how that's going to get done with my new schedule. And that's the tricky part because the only thing that I could do is just wait till Wednesday and Thursday and that'll be the first thing I talk about our stocks but y'all needed every y'all needed every day and that's really like something that I gotta I gotta figure out every day I can only talk about what um what moves I'm making 
and I would never get an opportunity to check out new stocks, but maybe if I just keep it simple, five new stocks out of all the companies or I figure out a more of a easy way to check this. Uh, I just gotta find something that's comfortable. I'm probably not gonna be able to complete the whole thing. Well, I might just have to be a little bit too slow and do 10 at a time and figure out which stocks are good to invest in. And if none of those 10s are good, would that still be a good video? And I want to make sure that I find something good for y'all in each video. But I also got to remember that everything can be good. And that just, if, if one of those things come across of that that blur come across it's okay because I'm still showing that even though you wanted to invest that day that day wasn't just a good day to invest so I can continue to look but am I going to get sleep so those are things that I'll be going through my mind uh, and I can't that's something that I'm not willing to lose, which is sleep, because I need sleep to drive. And if it's just one of those days where I didn't find a good stock, I just didn't find a good stock. So that means I get to let my money rest and I just wait until another video and I do it for 10 more stocks. So I think that's what I'm gonna start doing. Just keeping it at a 10 stock uh, minimal even though I did three stocks today, I got to figure out a new setup up in, up in this truck because I don't know what's going to work, but I got to figure it out. Oh, I think something just got in my I'm I got to figure something out because uh, me doing it from that angle ain't going to cut it. So I got to make sure I got to make sure I set up something where my camera can sit right here. I'm able to talk. I got a desk. I got, I think I got something for that. But this is my official second time back on the road. This is still week one of working. Uh, tomorrow is gonna be week two. Cause Sunday is always a new day. I mean a new, a beginning of a new week. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, I'll see y'all another video. Let me edit this for y'all. Y'all have a great Sunday and I'll see y'all Monday in Monday's video with more with 10 new stocks and um and technology. Maybe we can just do a random pick 10. Like I scroll up and I just pick 10 or I get to see what stocks uh I get to see what are the worst performing stocks and we do it probably do it that way you know the little new maybe that's that's something that i could do i think that's what i'm yeah i gotta figure it out to make sure that i'm more i'm effective and i'm valuable to y'all so i got some more thinking to do which i got one day to do and i think that's what i'm gonna do because that's a good idea so i'll see y'all another video chase way out and good night and well, good morning good afternoon or good evening i don't know when you're watching this but I'm out. Peace.